Did you choose a story? Oh, it does look like a fun one. It's called The Girl, The Bear and the Magic Shoes by Julia Donaldson and Lydia Monks. Oh, I wonder what it's about. It's a very fun cover. What do you see? Hmm, let's see what our story is about. There once was a little girl named Josephine. And her old running shoes were too tight. So she went to the shoe shop and tried on some new ones. They were red and they had a label saying Magic Shoes. What's magic about them? asked Josephine. Aha! Wait and see, said the shop lady. And Josephine bought the shoes and decided to go for a run. Can you see somebody hiding? What else do you see on the page? I can see some cats. And there's another cat sleeping in the window. Whose feet are these? Oh, who is that? Pit, pat, pit, pat, pit, pat went the shoes. But then she heard another sound. Click, click, clack. Click, 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 clack. Josephine turned around. A bear with a backpack was following her. <gasps> click, click, click went his claws on the road. Josephine ran faster. How did... And so did the bear. Pitter, pat, pitter, pat. Click, click, click. The hill. The road went uphill. Up and up it went until it stopped at the bottom of a snowy mountain. Josephine stopped. I'll never get up there, she said. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, yes, you will. Just start climbing and don't stand still, came a voice, or rather two voices. The voices seemed to be coming from Josephine's feet. <gasps> Josephine looked down and was amazed to see her new running shoes had changed into... Blue snow boots. Oh, crunch, 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 crunch. Josephine crunched away up the snowy mountain. But crunch, 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 crunch. The bear was still behind her. Josephine reached to the top of the mountain. The other side was very steep. I'll never get down there, she said. Oh, yes, you will. Yes, you will. Just start skiing and don't stand still, came the two voices. <gasps> Josephine looked down and saw that she was wearing a pair of green skis. Wee whiz! Josephine skied down the mountain, but wee whiz! Behind her, the bear was sliding down on his bottom. At the foot of the mountain, there was a bog. The mud was thick and deep. I'll never get through this, said Josephine. Oh, yes, you will. Yes, you will. Just start squelching and don't stand still, came the two voices. And the skis turned into... Yellow gumboots! Oh, yellow wellies! Squelch, 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 squelch. Josephine squelched through the bog. But squelch, 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 squelch. The bear was still coming after her. Josephine came to a lake. I'll never get across this lake, she said. Yes, you will. Oh, yes, you will. Just start swimming and don't stand still, came the voices again. And the wellies turned into orange flippers. Look at that. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. Josephine swam across the lake, but splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. 
The bear was swimming after her, and he was getting closer. Look at the little ducks on his backpack. I'm getting too tired to swim, thought Josephine. But then she came to an island in the middle of the lake. She quickly waded out the water and climbed with her flippers up the tree. Boop, 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 boop. There she left her shoes on the bottom. She climbed up the tree. The bear climbed out and stood at the bottom of the tree. Come down, he called. But you'll eat me, said Josephine. No, I won't, said the bear. But then why are you chasing me? I'm chasing you because you left your old shoes behind in the shop, said the bear. The shop lady asked me to give them back to you. And he took the shoes out his backpack. Oh, Josephine climbed down the tree. Oh, thank you. But what were you doing in the shop? Bears don't need shoes, do they? Oh, that was a mistake, said the bear. I didn't mean to go into the shoe shop. I was going to the fish shop next door. Then the flippers laughed. <laughs> Time for a dance now. Off you go. And they turned into a pair of pink dancing shoes. Josephine put on the beautiful dancing shoes and her and the bear danced all around the island. Until it was time to splash, to squelch, to crunch, to whiz and run all the way home. Oh, and when they got home, what did they turn into? Some nice, warm fuzzy slippers. What a fun story everybody. Good choice. If you like that one, why don't you choose another? See you again soon. Bye.